Do you care about health and wellness and wish you could make a career out of being a health coach? You've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to become a highly paid health coach. Watch this video to the end to learn how you can get started today. Hi, I'm Jo Randolph and I'm a branding expert based in London and I'm going to help you become an expert and leader in the field you care about most. On this channel, I share everything you need to know about how to get highly paid doing meaningful work so you can create a career and life you love. If you want to learn how to do this, come and join me and subscribe. This way you'll get weekly videos on how to build the career and life you want. Anyways, let's get right into it. The fact that you're watching this video tells me that you are passionate about health and wellness. Maybe you've been having lots of smoothies, doing lots of workouts, and you wish you could make a career out of helping other people to be healthy too. But there's one problem. First off, you're not qualified, so you're not even certified to train people on how to do this. And the second thing is, is that you already have a job. You have a career that's pretty steady and that's giving you an income, and you're really afraid of leaving your secure and steady job for this new health and wellness, potentially even woo-woo thing that you're interested in and you have no idea how you can actually make a profitable career out of doing it. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make really good money, actually more money than perhaps what you're making right now through your career and through your job, actually doing health and wellness coaching and really making a positive and meaningful difference in the world. Now, the first thing that I really wanna start with is by addressing really the first mistake that I've seen a lot of people do. Now, just for a bit of background, I'm actually certified in health and wellness coaching. I went to a school, which I'll talk about later, and I studied a program for about a year and I really integrate this into a variety of my branding work. So I actually have some, really I actually have a combination of both understanding how to get into the wellness industry, but I also understand how you can become an expert and leader in the wellness industry so you can actually start making money out of it. Anyways, going back to the point, which is the first mistake, and it's this. You're waiting to get certified before you start building your prospects of client list. A lot of people are afraid of putting themselves out there on the blog, on social media, because they feel they're not qualified. They're not qualified to help people. And though it is true that unless you've been educated, then you don't really know the key things you need to do to help people get results. What's not true is that you can't help people. You can actually start helping people today and it's actually better for you to start today because that's what will help you build your prospect client list because here's the thing your certification yes it gives you credibility but that is not what gives you clients what helps you get clients is actually having a, a huge prospect list of people who will be excited to work with you once you're certified. Now, a really easy way to do this is to create a blog and social media account where you're already starting to give people healthy recipes and you're sharing your workouts and you're basically sharing things that you would with your friends and you're helping, well, really inspiring people to make healthier choices in their life. If you can start inspiring people to make healthier choices and you create an email list where people will actually sign up to your blog and they'll really appreciate and value what you're saying, then you'll really start to have a big prospect client list. And this is amazing because as soon as you're certified, once you're able to start coaching people, once you're able to start training people, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, you'll already have a list of people that trust you, that like you, and are really excited to actually finally be able to work with you. Now, if you want to learn how to build your list, my recommendation is that you watch um, one of my other videos on how to grow and build your email list because that is really a great place to start. You're now ready to do the you know, next most important thing, which is to start getting educated and qualified in health and wellness coaching. Now, we don't have enough time to go into depth into how to do this because you, I don't know what situation you're in. And if you would like to get personal one-on-one -on -one guidance on what would be the best way for you to transition from your current job into health and wellness coaching, then I invite you to sign up for my Become an Expert consultation session. Vera will actually go into depth and discuss how you can become a health coach right now. But for now, I'm gonna really share the key things that you need to know to get started immediately. So the big question is, how do you get certified? There are really three kind
kind of paths, at least three paths that I'm really aware of. Now, the first path is that you become a registered dietitian. Now, registered dietitians are kind of like the doctors of nutrition. They went to a university, they spent years getting qualified, they may even also have a master's, and they are really licensed to offer people diet dietary advice. So they're really good at understanding your body, the science, the chemistry of how your body works, and also exactly which nutrients can help you live an optimal and healthy life. Now, the great thing about being a registered dietitian is that you will have so much credibility. Newspapers, magazines, TV shows love working with registered dietitians. And you can also work with lots of different types of people. And uh, you can also get quite a variety of jobs. So you can work at a hospital. I remember when I had my surgery, I had a registered dietitian that worked at my hospital and she was fantastic. You can work for big companies that sell food and health and wellness products. And you can help them make sure that their products have the nutritional uh, goods that their products need to have. But here's a challenge. One of the downsides of following that path is that you need to go back to school. You need to get your uh, training done and it can take three to five, four or five years depending on where you're studying and this can take time. It can also cost a lot of money. Now for me, I went to business school and I really did not want to go back to school to study how to become a registered dietitian. I care about health and wellness, but I don't really want to be working with sick people that need dietary advice. And I also don't really care so much about the um, chemistry of it. I was much more interested in the helping people make healthier choices so they can be productive. So for me, the registered dietary the registered dietitian path wasn't right for me, but for some people it is. So I really invite you to consider what kind of health and wellness coach do you want to be? Do you really want to focus on nutrition and diet and making sure that people's nutritional intake is optimal? If that's what you wanted to do, then a registered dietitian is definitely the path to go. But do know that it does take time to get there. You know, it, it's not going to be something that you can really do in the next year. The second path you can take is by being a personal trainer. So I have a few friends that are personal trainers and for them, they love this path because they really, really love fitness. They love working out. They love creating workout plans for themselves and for their friends and personal training is amazing for them. And they also like learning about nutrition and they can kind of combine both personal training and nutrition into the work they do with clients. Now, the great thing is that you can get jobs working as a personal trainer. You can work at a gym. Um, however, the downside is, is that it can, it can actually be quite difficult to uh, really build a business as a personal trainer. And there are really kind of a couple of reasons for this. One is that personal trainers, they work really long hours. They work their um, toned butt off in the gym and they work really long hours. The second thing is that unless you're really passionate about fitness and you're really passionate about training people, it, it's not really going to be something that you'll enjoy doing in the you know for the long term. So unless fitness is really kind of what makes you light up and what makes you super excited, then personal training might not necessarily be the right path for you. Now the people that have done really really well in when they've done pers combined personal training with nutrition are some of the most popular and famous trainers you know. So whether it's Kayla Itzinas or Tone It Up or the Body Coach, they are all personal trainers. And it's great, but here's a challenge. When you're a personal trainer, it's not the same as being a nutritionist. And so whenever they create workout plans, you'll tend to see that on their um, book or on the nutrition plan, they'll say, this plan was created by so-and-so and also with a registered dietitian. And because the registered dietitian is what gives them credibility as to what nutrition is actually great for their weight loss goals or whatever. So I guess the point that I'm trying to say is that personal training is great if you want to combine a bit of nutrition with personal training. However, it does not make you a nutritionist and um, you really focus really, the, the focus really is on personal training rather than food. Now the third option is one which I took and uh, I absolutely loved it. And this is to become a holistic health coach. Now, a holistic health coach is basically someone who helps people reach their health and wellness goals and make 
positive lifestyle changes so they can be healthy, happy, vibrant, and living life to the fullest. And the amazing thing about it is that it's a combination of things because really it, there are a variety of things that affect your health. So I went to the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, which I will just call IIN for short. So when I went to IIN, I learned that what makes someone healthy isn't just what they eat, such as their diet, but also all the variety of things that are affecting their health. So they have what they call primary food, which is your career, um, your physical movements if you're moving, your relationships, and also spirituality. Typically, when one of these four things are off, like let's say you have a crappy job and it's very stressful or you have a relationship that's giving you headaches, heartaches and problems or you're feeling a little lost and you're not figuring out what your purpose is and you're not really connected to a, a higher being or you're not moving, you're not physically active. If one or multiple of those things are off, it makes it very, very difficult for you to be healthy. And I noticed, know this for a fact because I actually used to have a tumor and it's not been scientifically proven what's caused that tumor because it was really rare, but I know for sure that I spend a good portion of my time being really stressed with my job and with my career, and that definitely did not help. So at IIN, you really learn how to help people around these different areas of life so they can actually de-stress and they um, have a really healthy and great lifestyle and they're really making the best choices they can for their health and their life. Of course, you also learn about nutrition. So we learn over a hundred dietary theories because one of the things I also learned while doing um, IIN, the training, is that every person is different and there's not one single book or one single nutrition plan or one single workout that works for everybody. I mean, if it did, it would be amazing, right? But unfortunately, that's not the case. Or maybe be fortunately so because I guess we're all unique and that's the amazing thing. Every single person is unique and what IN is really good at is helping you create a plan and a program that is you know, really dependent on how people feel and what makes them unique. So uh, the nice thing is that because you learn over a hundred dietary theories, you really have a huge range of proven theories by doctors, nutritionists, scientists, and you can kind of figure out which uh, plan is actually most appropriate for them and you can help them execute this. Now, there is a downside though. Even though you're a health coach, that doesn't mean you are a nutritionist. As I mentioned before, a registered dietitian is a nutritionist. So, you know, you wouldn't really be giving medical advice on how someone should be healthy, but what you'd be doing is you'd be giving them healthy suggestions and you'd be helping them make healthier lifestyle changes. Now, the amazing thing is that when you go through this path, there are so many different options. I know people who have done some amazing things. So for example, Madeline Shaw, who is amazing, she did IIN, that's actually how she started before she did the, her Get the Glow book. Uh, you've also got um, Sarah Wilson, who I've actually got her book right here. Oh no, it's right here. So Sarah Wilson, I've got her book right here. So, you know, I quit Sugar for Life. So she also went to IIN. And they're really actually quite a variety of people that you'll see online and on the web and on social media who have, who are really making a positive and amazing difference in the world. And they actually started by going to IIN. The amazing thing is that a health coaching certification works really well if you're also good and talented in something else. So for example, when I was studying, there were people that were nurses, acupuncturists, yoga teachers, um, business coaches and myself. So I'm a branding expert. You think how on earth does health and wellness work with branding? Well, I really help people become productive and feel great so they can actually deliver their best work. So when you combine it with something else that you're really good at, you're actually able to provide a very holistic and comprehensive program that actually best utilizes the skills that you already have. You know, it's kind of different when you go to university, let's say you went to high school, secondary school, you, you got your um, qualifications to go to university, you became a registered dietitian, that path, you know, 
all you've done is nutrition. But if you're a professional and you have lots of other skills, you have other degrees, you have other interests, then this path might actually be better for you because you can actually combine health coaching with the work that you're already doing. And the amazing thing is, is that it's so much cheaper than going to university. It, you can also do the program within a year, which is amazing. I did it within a year and I was actually able to start uh, coaching people and working with people from six months on because in the first six months, you learn the key things that you need to do to start working with people within six months. Anyways, if you would like personal guidance, if you would like to chat with me one-on-one -on -one to figure out how you can become a health and wellness expert ASAP, then I totally recommend you sign up and request a free Become an Expert consultation session. In this session, we'll discuss and clarify your dream goal and also how you can get there as fast as possible and also what might be sabotaging your success with becoming a health and wellness coach and you'll also leave feeling renewed and re-energized and ready to go anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did give it a thumbs up but i'd love to know what are, what are you thinking of doing you know which of the three paths are you thinking of taking let me know by leaving a comment in the comment box below Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, so you can get more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. All my health coaches, all my health coaches, now put your hands up, up in the gym, shaking my fingers.